In this video, we are discussing the nucleophilic substitution SN1. So, in the previous video, we talked about how um, our tertiary alkyl halides do not prefer SN2 mechanism. Instead, they prefer the SN1 mechanism. Here we have an example, tertiary bromobutane or tertiary, sorry, tertiary butyl bromide um, on reaction with the OH- ion is going to give us an alcohol, which is CH3 thrice COH. This is a tertiary butyl alcohol or 2 methyl propane 2 all plus Br minus. And from the previous video, we understood that here in this case, the OH minus is not going to come and attack the carbon atom from the back because of the presence of three methyl groups attached to it. It's very difficult for it to have the space to actually attack from the back. So how does this reaction take place? First step is, so unlike SN2, this particular reaction takes place in two steps. The first is the cleavage of CBr bond and this leads to the formation of a carbocation. And if you remember, we learned about the various reaction intermediates. Again, please revise that. I, I, I would just say go back to class 11 and just revise those two chapters because it makes it so much more easy. And if you can't do two chapters, just do at least the one about, um, I think it's chapter 11, uh, where it's about um, like the carbon and, you know, the basic idea of some basic organic concepts, I think. And that actually helps a lot. And we talked about what carbocations are. The second step is the attack of the nucleophile. So the first step, as the name suggests, cleavage of CBr bond. So what's happening over here is, so we have CH3, let's draw it. So you have three CH3 groups and a Br. So what's happening over here is the Br is going to get removed and it is leading to the formation of the carbocation. Okay, and because the bromine is more electronegative than carbon atom, it is going to leave the carbon atom with a positive charge. And so we get a carbocation. Now, and you get a Br minus. Now this, if you notice two things, first of all, you have a two headed arrow, which means it is easy for this to go back to form the alkyl halide. That is one thing. And the second thing is the fact that this is a slow step. And if you remember from chemical kinetics, the slow step is always the rate determining step. And because it takes the longest amount of time. Okay. So we have the carbocation that has formed. The next step is the attack of the nucleophile. So our nucleophile is the OH. So you have C, CH3, CH3. CH3 with a positive charge because it's a carbocation, it reacts with OH minus. Now it can either attack from the front, from the back, anywhere. Uh, and we will talk about the stereochemical aspect as to what happens with respect to the configuration. So it, this leads to the formation of the tertiary butyl alcohol. So we have the tertiary butyl alcohol form. Now, if you notice, the carbocation has gotten converted to the tertiary butyl alcohol. And this step is going to be the fast step. Now, the slow step is also the rate determining step. And only one of the components is actually undergoing the slow step. And because of that, the rate of the reaction only depends upon the alkyl halide and because of that it's a unimolecular substitution reaction so i'm going to write over here the rate of the reaction depends on the alkyl halide the next is the intermediate the intermediate of this reaction is the carbocation in sn2 it was the transition state oh wrong spelling in the sn2 reaction it was the transition state <laughs> Sorry, again. 
uh, whereas in SN1, it's the carbocation. Okay, uh, so basically you have two steps happening. Uh, the first step is the uh, formation of a carbocation where the bromine, uh, bromine atom is getting kicked out as a bromide ion and this leads to the formation of a positive charge on the carbon and it is a slow step and it's the rate determining step. Next, the OH- attacks the carbon and this leads to the formation of the alcohol. So this is the fast step of the reaction. The slow step or the rate determining step is only dependent on the alkyl halide and because of that the rate of the reaction is dependent on the alkyl halide and it's called a unimolecular substitution reaction. The second thing the intermediate over here is a carbocation and the carbocation stability is going to give us the idea as to which one it will you know which type of Okay, never mind. Which type of carbon will undergo this particular reaction? So first of all, you have a methyl that is CH3X. Then you have primary, which is CH3CH2X. <clears throat> so this is primary CH3CCH3X. So this is secondary um, CH3C. CH3, CH3, and X. This is the tertiary. So this is what we talked about over here. Now, remember, when we talked about uh, the stability of carbocations, alkyl groups are very generous in nature and they tend to give the electrons towards the carbon atom. So they're electron donating in nature. Now, remove the halogen atom. Okay. So this is the intermediate formed essentially this is the carbocation intermediate which is formed out of all of this the most stable one is the tertiary alkyl halide because of the presence of three alkyl groups that donate electrons on the other hand the secondary is going to only have two primary just has one and methyl does not even have any and because of the high stability of this particular carbocation this undergoes or the SN1 mechanism. Also, remember, this particular step is reversible in nature. If this intermediate was not stable, like a primary, if we take a primary, it will not be that stable. And so it will not like to undergo chemical reaction through this mechanism. Instead, it will take the easier route, that is the SN2 mechanism. Okay, basically, in an, like, basically what's happening is, the molecules want to pick the easier way to undergo the same chemical reaction. The bulky ones which have, like in case of tertiary, it has bulky groups. It's impossible for the incoming nucleophile to come in, come in and attack the carbon atom from the back. And because of that, it prefers the SN1 mechanism. On the other hand, this particular um, atom, I mean, this particular type of molecule, which just has one alkyl group attached to it, it is easy for the nucleophile to come and attack the carbon atom from the back and so it prefers to do it through the SN2 mechanism. So the order of reactivity over here is going to be tertiary alkyl halide more than secondary alkyl halide more than primary more than methyl. So it's just the opposite. And remember, our atoms or molecules prefer the easier way to undergo chemical reaction than the more difficult one. The last one is allylic and benzylic halides. Allylic and benzylic halides prefer to undergo the reaction using the SN1 mechanism. So the, the <clears throat> intermediate that is going to be formed over here is basically the X, that is the halogen atom, is going to get removed. And it is leading, oops, <laughs> leading to the formation of the carbocation. Same goes to this one as well. So this is a benzylic carbon and this leads to the formation of a positive charge now let's draw the resonance structure so this double bond will shift over here and remember we will only draw the movement of a negative charge and not the positive charge again something you learned in class 11 so ch2 plus um c ch2 double bond H. And I will also link the playlist to the whole chapter that I'm referring to in the description below. And it will make it much more easy for you to draw these resonance structures, which were also discussed in class 11. I mean, feel free to just 
go through them they'll be super helpful when you learn it's just easier this way so you have the shift of and if you remember more is the number of resonance structures that are present more is the stability and so because these are having like so many resonance structures they are actually pretty stable and the the allylic and benzylic halides undergo the nucleophilic substitution reaction using the sn1 mechanism With that, we're done with the SN1 mechanism. Essentially, uh, you have the SN1 mechanism taking place as two steps. The first step is the cleavage of the CBR bond to form the carbocation. The step in itself is a slow step and it is only one of the reactants which is present in this step. And because of that, it's the rate determining. No, because it's slow, it's the rate determining step. And because it's only one of the reactants that has undergone, that is in this step, it is a unimolecular reaction and its uh, order of the reaction is going to be one and the rate of the reaction depends upon the alkyl halide the second step is the attack by the nucleophile um the nucleophile is going to come attack the carbon uh, atom carbon atom and this uh, or the carbocation and this is going to lead to the formation of the product uh, the intermediate over here is the carbocation and the order of the reactivity is based on the stability of the carbocation. And you learned last year that the tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary, which is more stable than primary. And because of this, the order of reactivity is going to be a tertiary alkyl halide is undergoing the chemical reaction through SN1 more than secondary, which is undergoing it more than primary, which is more than methyl. So the alkyl groups are electron donating. It likes to donate the electrons. And because um, in tertiary, you have three alkyl groups attached to the carbon carbocation, it is going to, the negative charge of the alkyl groups is actually helping the carbon with positive charge to actually bear it. A much detailed explanation, again, go to class level. Um, the allylic and benzylic halides also undergo uh, the nucleophilic substitution reaction through SN1 mechanism. Notice we are not talking about haloarenes because if you think about it, it might not really undergo a chemical reaction using a nucleophilic substitution. There we will discuss the electrophilic substitution reaction. So um, haloarenes is again a separate topic. But essentially, that is what is happening. In the next video, we will be talking about some interesting concepts uh, about like the stereochemistry, which is really fun. Um, do check it out.